yes, 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 I know. I'm sorry. It has been a couple of months since I posted a video. Life has been lifing. Adulthood has been adulting. I've been so busy, but of course, I do not forget you guys. I'm back and I'm here. <music> to Richmond Perfume. If this is your first time tuning in, this is the channel for all things fragrances. If you want to know about the best fragrances in the market for men, women and unisex, if you want to watch different fragrance reviews, if you want to know different terminologies and general knowledge about fragrances, this is the channel for you. So make sure you like this video, make sure you share this video and most importantly, make sure you subscribe. By the way, my subscribers have increased a good number over this my hiatus and that is good so make sure you join them and subscribe so perfumes have been around for many many years and you know it has always been a go-to for some people hygiene products for some people fashion accessory yeah and there is something new that has really come into the perfumery culture and that is layering i say it's new because back in the day people didn't really used to layer People will just wear one perfume and then boom, they go out there. But now people like to be experimental, they like to be adventurous. They mix different fragrances because they want to create a very nice, unique smell and they go out there, you know. And I myself, like I said, I've been a fragrant for eight years now. I used to just wear fragrances on their own. I never used to mix. But I started layering about, let me say, two years ago. And now it has become to a point where most times I decide to just mix two. I, I always I always layer. Let me not say always, let me say 90% of the time I layer. Yeah. And there's some fragrances that you know I just wear them on their own. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to layer the right way. You know, because there's some layers that I see people do, and I'm like, really? You want to layer those two? <laughs> so I'm going to teach you how to layer the right way in this video okay let's get right into it now firstly why would you even layer in the first place because you want to you can layer for different reasons it can be that you know you feel like these two frequencies go well together i want to create a very unique pleasant smell it can also be that there is one fragrance that doesn't really perform well and there's another fragrance that performs very well that is it lasts very long and it's also very strong it projects very well and you want to use that one to increase the performance of the other one. That's another reason why people layer. I've done this before. I blended um, BDK Parfums Cream de Coeur and Unique Luxuries Coute. Cream de Coeur, the performance is not the best. I'll not even lie to you. But Coute, those of you that know Coute, Coute is a beast. And I just, aside that, I also felt like the smell of cream de coeur would really complement the smell of Coute. So I mixed them together. I recently wore that to a date that I went for and man, of course I got complimented and I just knew I smelled good. I knew I smelled good, you know? So yeah, I did that. So yeah, those are the two reasons why people layer. Now let us get to how do you layer. I will give you some tips. My first tip is that the two fragrances have to complement each other. Firstly, the two fragrances have to complement each other. For example, let's say a fragrance has a very strong milky caramel note. And then there's a fragrance that has a strong woody, woody, incensey scent profile. You cannot blend a fragrance that has a very woody, woody, incensey scent profile with a fragrance that is very milky and very caramelly. It's just going to be a little bit off. Now, some people say that, you know, you can mix any fragrance and it's just one nice. No. I have actually experimented by myself where I've mixed some fragrances that are very, very far apart in their scent profiles and it didn't come out well. It didn't come out well. So they need to have Set profiles that complement each other. 
if you have a fragrance that is caramel and milky, let's say for example, it's fragrance like Fev Delis used by Dior, or let us say a fragrance like Crush On Me by Unique Luxury, or let us say a fragrance like, what fragrance goes that direction? Viva La Juicy Couture by Juicy Couture, yeah? You need to blend with the fragrance that complements it. Like for example, you can blend it with something that is citrusy, you know? Let me say a citrusy fragrance that's and when I say a citrusy fragrance, I don't mean one that is sharp and aromatic. I mean something that is very citrusy. Let's say, for example, now Chanel Allure Homme Edition Blanche. That's the type of fragrance I'll blend with um, Viva La Juicy Gold Couture or Feb Delicious because it will add a nice citrusy backbone to the, the creamy, milky scent profile of Feb Delicious and Viva La Juicy Couture. Yeah, and if you and the reason why I know that to work here, yeah, if you're familiar with desserts, you'll see some chocolate orange desserts or some desserts that have a citrus touch to them. That's how I know that it's work. Do you understand? So yeah, you can also blend with something that is floral. And when I say floral, I don't mean something that is very, very indolent, like a strong jasmine that is very, you know, jasmine that jasmine can be a little bit too much. I'll say something like a, let me say, a nice, sweet, creamy tuberose. Something like um, Givenchy. What's the name of that perfume? Givenchy Rouge is in a red bottle. What's the name again? I really like that perfume. I can't remember it. Anyway, that's Givenchy Rouge. I can't remember the name right now. That fragrance is something that I'll blend with a Feb Delicious or a Viva La Juicy Couture. By the way, I finally remember the name, Givenchy Linderdit Rouge. Can't believe I do remember that because I really like that perfume. But anyway, My second tip is that they should have similarities. The first tip was that they could complement each other. That is, they work hand in hand. Like for example, a citrus fragrance can go hand in hand with a chocolate creamy fragrance, adding like a citrus touch to it, like you've seen some desserts. Now, my second tip is that they should have similarities. Okay? Let me take for example, you have Bulgari's Tigar, which is a lovely Ambroxan grapefruit fragrance, which smells amazing and in my opinion, that is the best fresh fragrance in the market. If I'm going to blend that, I'll blend it with something like Dolce & Gabbana for men, for home, Dolce & Gabbana for home intense. That is a grapefruit bomb, so I think that will go very well with Tigar. I can also blend Tigar with Dior Sauvage. Because Dior Sauvage has a very strong Ambroxan note to it. So they, they have similarities and they will go well together. That's another layer I will do. Okay? Now talking about that, that's for citrus. So let's say I want to do an Oriental Udi layer. Okay. I saw my friend, my friend did a layer, yeah. He layered Thamine Carved Wood and Santal 33 by Le Labo. I think that would be an amazing and a gorgeous blend because they are both very, very woody. And they're not woody in the sense that they are very thick and, you know, in your face woody. They are woody and they are very aromatic as well. Carved Wood is a very lovely woody aromatic fragrance. It's like a better version of Tom Ford Wood Wood. They have Santal 33, which is one of the best, you know, sandalwood fragrances out there. It is a sandalwood fragrance, but also has a lot of aromaticness to it. So they would go very, very well together. I was so impressed when I saw that blend. So that's what I mean when I say they have similarities. Yeah. Another example: Louis Vuitton Ombre Nomad and Guerlain Wood Essential. I've tried that blend before, and it is out of this world. Out of this world. They are both similar. They are both woods, but they are woods that are done in a very smoky manner, you know? So they went very, very well. So that's my second tip about layering fragrances. They should have similarities. I first spoke about how they should complement each other, and now I'm talking about how they should have similarities. My third tip is that you want to add an element to the scent profile of the fragrance that you want to wear. Let me take a, let me give you an example. I spoke about how 
you know, if you want to wear Femme Delicious or you want to wear Viva La Juicy Gold Couture, you can also add a stressing element to it. Let me give another example. Let us say I have Coutet by Unique Luxury. That's a lovely boozy fragrance. What if I want to add some creamy vanilla touch to it? Just, you know, make it a little bit sweeter, a little bit more on the gourmand side. I can use something like this. Electimus Mercurial Cashmere. This is a lovely, mm, a lovely caramel fragrance that is not too thick. You know, caramel fragrances can be very, very thick and very, very, you know, sticky sweet in a way. This is a very smooth caramel fragrance. So if I want to add a bit of sweetness to the profile of Coutet by Unique Luxury, I can use this. A caramel fragrance that is very smooth and not overly gourmand because what I want to do is I want to add a bit of gourmand, I want to add a gourmand touch to the scent profile of Coutet by Unique Luxury. So I'll use this. So that's what I mean by adding a touch to a scent profile. Another example, let us say you have, um, what can I use now? What can I use now? Let's say Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford, okay? I want to add a floral touch to it. You can use Canal Flower by Frederick Mar. Frederick Mar Canal Flower is a fruity floral fragrance that has a little bit of a patchouli earthiness to it. That will go well with the likes of Tobacco Vanille. If you want to add a bit of a floral touch to Tobacco Vanille, okay? So that is my third tip about how you want to layer fragrances. You will add a fragrance that adds a touch to the same profile of the fragrance you're already wearing. So that is my three tips on how to layer fragrances the right way. Number one, the two fragrances, or you know, if you decide to layer more than one, the fragrances need to complement each other. That's number one. Number two, they should have similarities. And number three, one fragrance should be adding should be adding a particular touch to another fragrance. So there you have it. Layering is a very interesting thing to do. I love it. I love to make my fragrances smell unique. I love to have a lot of spice to my fragrances, but it's something that you have to do the right way. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and till next time, take care.